guys, welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, continuing to support Beer Geek Nation and all the other YouTube beer reviewers out there under the Beer Geek Nation flag, if you want to call it that. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're just trying to create you know, genuinely good content. And um, we appreciate all your questions, comments, and everything. And, you know, just keep on watching. That's all I ask. And we'll continue to bring you guys the best beer reviews on YouTube. Um, at least we think so. We're getting there, I guess. So, um, With that said, what are we here to talk about? We're here to talk about beer. So let's talk about beer. This is from Hair of the Dog. This is Fred. It is their special golden ale. Um, comes in at 10%. Brewed out of Portland, Oregon. So another really good um, Portland-based or Oregon-based brewery. Um, looking forward to this one. I've heard nothing but great things about this beer. So with that said, um, I should mention his name for Fred Eckhart, who was a famous beer historian, beer writer. But with that said... Let me get into a glass, let you know how it smells, how it tastes, and we'll give you the verdict on Hair of the Dog's Fred. All right, so the appearance on the Fred, um, it's a nice, hazy, dark orange. Very, very little head, as you can see in the video, at 10%. You know, I don't expect a whole lot. Um, you probably can't see it on here, but there, the alcohol is just sticking to the edge of this glass and just creeping down, creating all these feet. It's really, really cool. Um, you know, hazy as hell, as you can see in the video. That's a deep, dark orange. A really, really kind of uh, strange-looking beer, I guess. All right, see the aroma on the Fred. Wow, there is a lot of malt backbone in this one. Yeah, huge amounts of uh, candy sugar. They do mention using Belgian candy sugar there to get that sweetness. You definitely get that in there. There's fruity notes from the yeast. Um, all their beers are bottle conditioned, so you're going to get some of that in there. A lot of malt. There's a ton of malt backbone in this. Breadiness, caramel notes, just huge amounts of sweetness. It sounds like a, it smells like a really, really, really big beer in a 10%. You do get some of the alcohol in there. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. Um, for some reason, when I read Golden Ale, I automatically went to a Belgian beer. I'm not getting any of the Belgian notes in here, and nor do I, I don't think they're using a Belgian yeast. I don't know, I just kind of went there with it, but wow, wow. This is a really strange beer, <laughs> um, in a good way. Huge, sweet, sugary, um, kind of bready caramel notes right at the beginning of the mouth. You know, just over, it's like, like almost like a sticky feeling in your mouth. Just coat your mouth. Um, the alcohol, you definitely kind of feel the alcohol come through and kind of clean it out. Burns down in your throat here. There's some definitely heat in this one. Really, really complex beer. You know, um, almost like a scotch type of flavor. It's got that like whiskey kind of scotch um, sweetness kind of smokiness burn in it, um, vanilla notes, it's just an absolutely amazing beer. One of the strangest beers I've ever had, but just absolutely amazing, huge, absolutely gigantic malt notes are there, sweetness from the Belgian candy sugar, the alcohol just clears everything out, burns your throat, letting you know that it is 10%, a really, really interesting, you know, tasty beer, and it shouldn't be, but it is. I'm gonna give this one an A. And I'll tell you, an age version of this, I think they do make an oak age version of this. I would probably give it an A+. I think with a little bit of time on this one, um, it is a little bit hot for my taste. When I say hot, I mean there's a lot of alcohol in it. You do taste a lot of that alcohol. Um, it actually becomes a little bit overwhelming. But at the same time, this is a beer. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, what are you drinking? I'm, I'm getting notes of whiskey, scotch in there. Um, huge caramel notes, tons of bready maltiness. There's a little bit of spiciness in there, a little bit of fruitiness in there from the yeast. Um, very little carbonation, so it just coats your mouth and just keeps on kicking. Alcohol comes by and just wipes it all out. And you're like, whoa, what did I just drink? I don't know, but I want more of it. So remember, my friends, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.